So what is on the menu? Four-door cup. Four-door cars. Okay. It's any four-door car, I suppose. Um, actually... The Saltez I just unlocked is a four-door. I'm gonna drive it. You're black. Alright. Go ahead and tune this bitch up. I just do this with every car, because there's no reason not to. Maximum upgrade does not move anything in the, uh... Performance chart. Well then. Alright, so... Let's go to the four-door cup. Race for only for four doors. Even the sports wagons can join. Yeah, wagons. I should have used one of the wagons. Oh, well. Anyways. Three laps, three races. You know the drill. Let's go. Drilling Harbor. Tez is already too good, clearly. Go. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, yeah, we got some wagons in here. Some shag mobiles. Woo! Taking the lead, I've overtaken everyone. I have driven this first lap surprisingly efficiently. Can't wait to fuck it up here and for the rest of the race. God damn it. Told you I was gonna fuck it up. I sure, uh, Sure fucked it up. Keep like engaging in the turn, like initiating the turn late. Like I touch the brake as the corner, like at the corner entry, and don't even start steering until like way after. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me, other than everything. And then there's this fucking section. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I just gotta slow it the fuck down. Continue to be bad. Okay. Refreshed. The lines are no longer bad. Yeah. Just kidding. The lines continue to be bad. In fact, it feels like you're always top now. Yeah, so far all the cars, uh, they don't take too long to reach top speed. Top speed has gone up a little bit. I think it's more just the revs. The higher the top speed, the higher I rev in fifth gear, and therefore the louder. Alright, so we got Evos 8, Evo 7, the Stagia. Oh, dude, should have used the Stagia. 
Two Imprezas. Legacy, RX-8, Natenza, Natenza Wagon, Legacy Wagon. Damn. God, I can't look at the plug. Oh, God, I hope not. <clears throat> the freaking squeaky toy in the engine bay. Delicious tea. Race to downtown street. Staying on the streets. Here we go. Ah, oh, I fucked up the launch. Realistic heart. Church me too. This is how creepy bosses are made, Mora. Next thing you know, hyper-realistic blood's gonna come gushing from the heart, and then, like, Sonic the Hedgehog is gonna fuck your wife or some shit. Bosses are so dumb, but like they're sometimes they're the entertaining kind of dumb. Run away. Yeah, that's fair. Dude, just say manage these hands and then punch your teacher. I don't know. That's how that works, right? taking such a stupid line through that section. But I do. And I don't learn from mistakes. I just make them... And if I do, I just make new mistakes to uh, counter those. Or to replace them. Man, there's these nuts. I can't say these nuts is like a very interesting meme. Because, like, it grew into meme status. Then it was completely like, it was considered stupid for a long time, and then it revived itself, and now it's just kind of part of a uh, conversation. It's, it's part of our everyday humor uh, intake. I pitch pass. I want to hear high pitch. I already rub the tits out of this thing. Fucking Doge meme has like transcended what it once was. It is a uh, is something else now. It is it is something. Fucking 
when whatever species uh, replaces us after we all go extinct in like two million years and they dig up the doge meme, they're gonna be so fucking confused. No, Stony. These are not the uh, same devs as Automodelista or Driving Motion. Garfield. Garfield posting is uh. Cool. <laughs> These are the. This is part of the, basically a. Uh, console version of the uh, GT Advance games for the Game Boy Advance. Same developers. Fucking r slash, I'm sorry, John. Man, I watched... I watched a video essay on YouTube a long time ago about like the actual, like, legit Garfield comic strips and how fucked those are. driving games. They're actually really good games. Like, they're fantastic 2D racers. GBA's got some pretty fun driving games. Like, I've also played V-Rally 3 on the GBA. On the second channel right away, exclamation point LMS. Really fun. But yeah, there's like, this dude talked about how, like, how fucked up the actual, like, uh, comic strips are. Yeah, that's where I was going with Pig, Garfield comics without Garfield. Like, it's just John having, an, having a fucking crisis at all times. There's Top Gear GT Championship, which is one of the craziest spin-offs I've ever fucking seen in gaming. So, you take the Top Gear games, which are like, you know, 2D racers, they're just your typical race car, round track, it's whatever, not like specifically branded or anything, it's just pick a car. Um, they made a spin-off on the GBA with the Super GT license, or JGTC as it was back then, and they released a game under the Top Gear IP on the Game Boy for Super GT. I don't understand. Let's play of it. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, titanium exhaust. Let's go. Ooh, we got another Impreza. We've unlocked another pretzel. Yeah, I just think it's wild that, like, an officially licensed Super GT game is a spin off of an unlicensed racing series. Also, they made it for a handheld console. That's a blob eye. Oh, okay. I didn't even pay attention to what it looks like. Oh, well. Anyways, I win. There's our second trophy at the top there. So, uh... On to the next pro championship, I suppose.